All right, so my friend Dan and I tried to do these things where we had a gas can for a Tesla. We tried with this little battery that he had from Anchor and it wasn't grounded. I'm gonna stick this in here. Ugh. Going in. Oh no! Charging cable fault. So it didn't work at all. Then he got a much bigger battery and had an electrician friend rig up a thing that kind of tricked it to think it was grounded. And that worked, but not really. How many miles did that $1,800 battery pack get me? Ta-da! 196! We gained a whopping two miles extra range off of a battery pack that took me all night to charge. What have I learned off of this? First, I would say I don't recommend you buying a giant battery so that you can use it as a gas can for your car. Does it work? Technically, yes. Is it something that's usable? Probably not. So. I hit up my friend Jehu, who's kind of a battery DIY guru. He's the one that made those DIY power walls. And I asked him if we could do something. So I'm going to meet him now and hoping that what he has come up with is something that will actually work in the case of an emergency where you need a couple extra miles of charge. Let's go. All right, so I'm um, here at EV West with my friend Jehu, who is the man when it comes to batteries. And he tells me that he's made something that might work as a gas can solution for a Tesla. So Jehu, what do we got going on? We got a battery box. So yeah, it's essentially a battery box. Uh, here's the thing, like to charge a Tesla, it's pretty, pretty hard. Yeah. Like, you know, it requires a bunch of power. And so I think there's been a couple of tens that haven't been able to well, right. be successful. We've, we've failed multiple times. Yeah, so it's the reason is because the battery wasn't big enough and because your inverter, it wasn't big enough, right? And so even though there is battery in the box and there's an inverter, just Tesla's asking for it too, too fast, too mm -hmm. hard. And so the only way to do it is to do like a dedicated system. So like each one of these, what kind of cells are these? Are these the same 18650s? So these or? are 18650s, so essentially the same cells that are found on your Model S. You right. Know? Not the Model 3, the Model 3 has a different, slightly bigger set. Right, and how much do we, how much energy do we have in here? So these are 3,000 milliamp hour, so there's like 196 of them, so that equals to 2.2 kilowatt hours. Okay, yeah. let's see it. Show me, show me right. the money here. So here's what we'll have to do. We'll have to plug this guy in. Let me turn it off. It's got a, it's got a switch here. Safety first. And you want to do that because these inverters have uh, large capacitors inside. And so when you plug in like live, it'll, they'll spark. So you basically plug it in here. And even though this is set up for 110, it will handle 240 or 220 or whatever, no problem. So then we turn our little, you know, a little switch. No sparks, it happened inside. Didn't blow up. <laughs> Didn't blow up. No fire. <laughs> okay, so we have power. Volts. Okay. This AC and then 29. Uh, DC. Okay. DC. So this is what's coming in. Yep. 29. And then this is what this convert this uh, inverter. Inverter. Yeah. Inverter is is changing that DC yeah. to the AC. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what the car wants. Yes. Unless you're at a supercharger, which is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So which car so. do you want to try first? We have all three cars here, right? It seems like the Model Three might be the easiest one to start with. Yeah. I Maybe. Let's I mean, try it. Let's try All right, it. <laughs> let's see. So you brought your Model 3, and which one is this? This is... It's just the standard... Standard range, range plus. plus. Yeah. Got you. Okay, so, cool. I'm a, I'm a new Tesla owner, so I actually don't know what I'm doing <laughs> when it comes to Teslas. There we go. Right. Right. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. There we go. And then we'll open up the computer so you can see. So it's, it's green. Yeah. It's charging. But it shows seven amps. That's good though, that, that means it's gonna work. So it worked. It works, yeah. It, it actually is charging. We pumped it up to 10 amps, 10 amps and it said nine miles per hour that you would be getting. Now, how, now if it actually sat for an hour, you think it would give you nine miles? So I actually did the test and it, I, it came down to 333 
watt hours for every one mile of this. The 333 is the inefficiencies of this thing? Yeah, I was gonna say, so So, do, is there any loss between yes. this guy, this guy, to there? So I'm estimating it's about 70%. It's only getting 70% uh, of, of the battery. So 2.2 kilowatt hours yeah, times 70%. So yeah, gotcha. that's what you're getting in there and that's what's turning into, into energy. Okay, now. Let's try yours. Let's try a real Tesla. So now we have um, the gas can here. I'm just calling it a gas can for why. Electric and, gas can. There oh, you go. the electric gas can, also known as a battery. Um, <laughs> Michael, this is your car. And so do you think Jehu's gas can is going to break it or not? Well, I'll say this much. Um, it is a salvage title car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with that one. And we'll go from there. But I have faith. I think it's going to work. Do okay. Yourself, Moment of truth. Here we go. Okay, let's plug it in. Oh, oh. Have push the button. I'm a new Tesla owner. Let's well. plug it in. Hey, let me run over here. It's green. Oh, charging stopped. No. Oh. Oh, we broke it. We broke it. Maybe yeah, the amps yeah. are too high? No, his amps was too high, so I turned it down to the minimum that it allows you, which is five, five. amps, yeah. right? Okay. And it's charging at five amps. It's and it gone. does, and it is confirmed it, on it the It said it was car. charging and then it just died. Okay, 10 amps. No, you're at seven amps. Put, put uh, eight amps. Eight? Can you click on the plus? Do nine. Tell me if you, if you got it, Ben. Oh, yeah, I got it. Can you do 10? Click on the plus. 10. 10. 10 amps. What? Ah, that's oh. where it is. Oh, damn. I'm a new Tesla. So on the Model 3, it will do 10 amps, but on the Model S, it'll only do 9 amps. Mm. So, Still, though. I mean, that's 6 miles per hour. So so the, the idea is if we're, we're stuck somewhere, yeah. we're, you know, literally died, whatever reason, ignored the warnings about getting to the charger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> being stupid Tesla owners. Yeah. Um, we could get a mile in half an hour, a couple miles of range probably. Yeah. Well, no, this will last more than an hour, so. No, but I'm just saying like, look, like, oh man, I couldn't make it to the charger. Yeah. It's a half mile away. This is literally what happened to Dan. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, this kind of a thing where I just need a couple extra miles. I don't want to wait an hour. At that point, I'll just call a tow truck. This could give you that Yeah. in the three and the S. Just yeah. make sure we adjust the, the amps to not the amps. 10. Yeah, and of course that's just for this one little battery that I built, right? Right. We could build a, a specific. You could build battery. a big. Yeah, but yeah. this is the point: is to try to use something like this. All right, now let's try the uh, the granddaddy here. What? We're doing it. Seven amps. Seven amps. Okay. How are you looking on your side? You want to go to ten? Another amp. <laughs> Another amp. Let's see when it quits. Let's okay, we're at eight. Right. You want nine? We're on nine. We going 10? Go do 10, let's see if it shuts off. Maybe it won't shut off. Ah! So after testing it at EV West with the crew there and making sure that things were gonna work, we brought it back to my house and we charged it up fully. Now, in order to charge fully, we had to have some specialized equipment because inside of that suitcase was just the battery. And after we were able to do that, it charged for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. It didn't take that long because it was already about 60% full when we started. We dumped it all into the car, into my Model X. We had to use the version three of the UMC, the mobile connector, because the previous version that I had wasn't working for some reason. Um, I think the, the cables weren't able to handle that much voltage back then or whatever, so it just didn't work. So we had to use the new one. And then we were only able to get about seven amps at a time, which means that the, the rate of charge was relatively slow. So we let it run all the way down for about an hour and we got four additional miles of range. 
So what happened was, as the battery drains, it loses its ability to push out as much voltage. It's, it essentially gets weaker as it you know, has less energy in it. And at some point, the car system, the charger in the car just says, you're not giving me enough, and so I'm just gonna shut off. So it just kinda, kinda says you're done here and stops charging. So there was still likely another mile or so of energy in the battery, but it didn't have enough in it to actually push it at the rate that the Tesla wants. So does it work as a gas can? Is this the solution to you know running out of energy when you're on the road trips? I don't think so. Um, unfortunately, it has nothing really to do with this solution or any of the off-the-shelf ones. Just Teslas are power-hungry beasts when it comes down to it. The amount of energy that is in a car like my Model X can power my home, you know, air conditioning, refrigerator, lights, TV, all that, for two to three days. That's a lot of energy. And so in order to actually fill up that battery or get it to, you know, uh, to a point where you could make it 20 miles or so to your next stop is just, just not really is something that you can fit into a small compartment like that. Now, this solution is really cool and has many other use cases. So if you want to check it out and learn how to do that, I'll put a link to Jehu's channel. I think it's fascinating, the stuff he does. But in terms of a portable solution as a gas can, don't really think this is going to be the answer. Or in fact, I don't think there is going to be an answer. So the only other thing I could really think of would be if Tesla enabled vehicle to vehicle charging, where imagine if you're in your car and you can hit a button and kind of call a Tesla in the area, say, hey, I'll give you 25 bucks if you come give me, you know, 20 miles of range. And that car would have a lot of energy in it because that's, you know, how it's made. And the charger there should be able to put out enough to give you, I don't know, 20, 25 miles in an hour maybe. So other than that, it's it's really hard to imagine a solution here that, that would help with this. Now I know AAA, there have been photos of something that AAA, the tow truck service um, reported that they would do this. But when I called them and previously when I did my range test on my cars, they had no idea what I was talking about said they don't have that, they've never heard of it. So I don't know if that photo wasn't real or you know, was just a pilot program or what. So I think there's something that could be done here, but currently there's really not an option. So let me know what you think. If you guys are curious about this or you have any ideas, leave me a comment down below. Definitely go check out Jehu's channel. It's really interesting, all the stuff he's doing. I'll put a link to that um, as I mentioned. And don't forget, when you free the data, you might have follow. I'll see you guys back here in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Do you like data? Maybe you want to make a career out of it? Check out my free course at ftdacademy.com and kickstart your data professional career today.